Today, I will feature a game that is played fast and furious when I first play it. Once uh, my opponent make a mistake, I basically totally demolish his position really, really quickly. Witness the power of combination of rooks and bishops. I have five puzzles for you today. With that in mind, if you hear just for the puzzles, go to the timestamps and look for the puzzles. Anyway, let's begin. This is an unusual opening for me, which is queen spawn. And yet, in the end, it goes back to my usual opening anyway, which is modern defense. This is uh, very close to normal variation as my opening, except the knight is located here, as opposed to located here. Usually, I move my knights over there. Anyway, let's continue. So far, the opening is proceeding according to plan for both sides. White has a good center and I have king safety. So let's continue. And that's maneuvering for space. Here I have different choices I can take. Here or this one of here or the computer suggests that I would do it over there. But this one like no I'm not going to do that. So next move. Notice I did do that after I have has proper support from this one, from this pawn. So, yes, that's a very aggressive move over here. Notice that the queen voluntarily put it in the X-ray of the knight here. So, that's not a good move. And there you go kicks the queen back, push the bishop, and at this point I win in terms of space, so I have tremendous amount of space here, here, like very strong. Mm, this one does have a diagonal over here, but that's about it. So what needs to be, what needs to play aggressively in order to counter attack my attacks here, so Let's continue. Push it up uh, and what is counter attacking? Capture that, capture that. And here you go. This is a very strong position. Uh, basically, what has to take my knight with the minus pieces either this one or this knight or this knight moving to this point over here and take this one. But if white does do that, capture with, recapture with a pawn and it's a best pawn right here. In while white does have best pawn but it's not supported. So let's continue. Yep. Uh, so this is a mistake. This is actually puzzle number one. So, what would I do? Uh, this is one. This one is what I did. However, what I should have done, and I just don't see it. I should have moved the knight over here. Check, queen takes knight. Rook takes rook. Basically, have to either do that or or maybe do it this way. Because if king moves, rook takes rook. So that's yeah. So that's what I should have done. So over here, and uh, basically trying to trap the queen didn't work well, but. But that I should have done this, should have just checked it with the knight, check the king with the knight. 
Next move. Attack twice, defended once. Attacker wins. Next move. And and the king and the queen got away from uh, from the trap. So <coughs> trying to basically get things out. And suddenly this one becomes a very tempting target. Put another X-ray over there. This is puzzle number two. That's a mistake. How can I take advantage of it? A simple matter would be to just take the knight. Of course, there's a possibility of the queen. Uh, bishop takes queen, that takes queen, and and you can tell that's basically for that's probably what what is depending upon uh, depending that what I would do, but nope, just the knight. Next move. So now I have a winning position right here, and from this point on, my attack is really quick. Boom, 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 like white is scrambling. White is scrambling basically at this point. Attack the queen, uh, fortify, uh, fortify. This is a very good move. Now, this is not the best move according to the computer basically, but I like this move because it's multi purpose. Number one, it attacks the queen, it, it protects the knight from queen bishop attack and it opens up this rank here so I can connect the rook over here and attack that rook over there. So that's a good multiple purpose move. I, I like this move a lot. Next move. As I said, multiple purpose move. There's no change between queen and bishop attacking the knight except the queen is off. So I may as well do the third move over here. This is a waiting move, another blunder. Puzzle number three. What should I do? And there you go, just capture the rook. I have two rooks for the price of one. So Yep, what, what, what is losing terrible over here? That's minus 14 over here. Yeah, what is totally lost here. And so basically securing the square, square here. So just push the pawn up. I have a best pawn. This is another blunder from white. Puzzle number uh, four. Puzzle number four over here. What should I do? Fork the queen and the bishop. There's nothing to it. And then capture the bishop. That's a free bishop because the knight is protected by this bishop and the queen cannot do anything. So I got another free bishop. Evaluation becomes minus 18. Next move. White is desperately trying to secure this square over here. At this point in time, there's no way I can lose unless I make a blunder. But after, you know, this is the a game where I was really feeling really really good so 
my mind is sharp and just came over here so uh, very good so no blunder over here okay. put the bishop this is not the fastest way to win but it is very strong very strong and this is a way to secure the square over here the, the knight of course being attacked over here so the knight is going over there blocking the square of promotion puzzle number five over here what should i do this is what i did rook to a1 that's i wouldn't say a mistake but that's an inaccuracy basically the computer suggested to go here check and of course king move over there and then rook move over here and it's devastating devastating that the, the, the queen cannot go here over here because the net takes care of it but otherwise that net is lost so this is like a totally devastating move over there however i disagree with the computer i would say the computer is wrong this is the best move right here because it's the most beautiful move there is over here net takes rook bishop takes rook and you look at this thing over here this is secure but this square is secure also this square is secure also this square is secure also so all the squares on the back line is totally secure there's nothing what can do to prevent this pawn promotion over here if uh, what goes here promote and that's about it it's done like totally win. so so this one is the best move very beautiful very beautiful so i like this one move the best better than the computer over here as for the reason why i did this move like a premature rook move even though it's very strong the reason why i did that is because i was running out of time my clock was down to one minute and like oh you know like i better move really quick here because there's still some variations to go with and yes that's a mistake right here because for that no I, i'm still winning so i guess you can say it inaccuracy i can just uh if you know queen takes this one quick let's take this one i still win right I still win so so i would say that's an inaccuracy over there anyway next move yes i did not take the knight over there i was in a hurry and this is an uh not a good move basically could be a mistake depending over here now the stockfish says it's made in eight but what it does it, it complicates the position because there's a opening over there that's not that that i'm not taking consideration of so so that allows white to counter attack next move and that's it my king is safe the queen has nothing to do the pawn will get promoted and it's made in five i don't even have to promote the pawn because because the basically queen here can check here can can check here can check here so you know what king is in trouble no matter how you put that no matter how you look at it what king is in trouble so uh, that's it for today i hope you enjoy my game thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow